hands so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes Good afternoon guys. So I thought that I would do a summer night routine today and film vlog style probably because um, I haven't done cinematic style for like a really long time. I normally just do vlog style but because I just like it because I get to talk to you guys in person um, but I don't know it's fun to watch the other style too so you guys have to let me know what you prefer down in the comments below but I thought that I would video today this afternoon it is three three o'clock so I thought I'd film the rest of the evening for you guys and just share what we do on our little night routine um so obviously first thing that we're gonna do here soon is make dinner but tonight we're gonna make meatballs and it's actually my mom's recipe so um I currently got the uh, turkey falling out and you could use ground beef but I don't have any of that so we're going to use turkey and um, this is everything that you're going to need and while when we get ready to make it I'll just share what you do with you guys if you guys want to try the meatballs out but we normally use ground beef um, if you prefer that but I don't have it like I said so we're going to use turkey um, but yeah they're really good really simple really easy and delicious um they're one of my favorites so we haven't made them for a really long time and i was really struggling on what to make for dinner because i did not have uh today is friday so i did not have it's actually fourth of july weekend so happy fourth of july as well but i did not have um my meal list made out to go into the next week so that is kind of why i wanted to um I was just trying to brainstorm what to make and I had two pounds of turkey so I thought meatballs would be perfect to make because we haven't had them for a while and we love them so my husband just got home from work me and Cole's been in his room we did move it around a little bit we didn't move I'll show you guys really quick if you remember how it was but he's got a lot more space in here to play now the, the bed was in the center here we just moved the bed over there moved the nightstand over there put the chair back over there the only thing I didn't move was this, but I did move the TV so he could uh, see it better from his bed now. And I put his bookshelf over here, fixed it up a little bit. That was it. I didn't even clean. I just moved the furniture <laughs> because I cleaned a few days ago so it wasn't really dirty. But he's been in here playing. We've I've actually been in here with him for like the last couple of hours. And that's what we've been doing so I'm gonna go catch up with my husband and see how his day was at work and then see what else we get into so I washed some of our blankets today and I love a freshly washed blanket this one still feels a little bit wet to be honest so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to dry them just a little bit longer so I got you guys on my bread box at the moment, but you need a bowl. You're going to put your meat in there. I'm going to try to do like the basic instructions here and not take up too much time. But, um, so my second, I'm using two pounds by the way, but my second pound of, I was afraid of that. This is still not thawed all the way which sucks. I laid one out really early this morning so it's thawed and then the other one is not thawed all the way. So I don't know. I'm going to have to, I had it in hot water like thawing it but it's still not all the way thawed. But I'm going to tell you guys really quick what we're going to do and then once I get them, get the meat, I think what, what I can do is just like break the meat up and it's halfway thawed I feel like. But anyways, put your meat in. You need one pack of Lipton onion soup mix or just an onion soup mix. And you need a third a cup of milk and a teaspoon of Worcester <laughs> sauce. 
and you're gonna combine all that up make little meatballs um, you're gonna put them into a pot almost like a spaghetti pot and we're gonna cover them with water and then we're gonna boil them for 15 minutes on the stove and that's what we're gonna do so once I get to that point um, or once I get to the next step I'll be back all right, we're making macaroni and cheese. We got our turkey meatballs cooking. They're kind of messy, but <laughs> um, like I said, there was still some ice and stuff in the meat, but I did get it. I did get them. They, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to turn out, but it doesn't matter if they don't look good. We're still going to eat it. Um, it's the we're going to do some of these popped, popped up. Idahoan potatoes. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Oh, man, that sucks. Real life right there, guys. I let it boil over. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Say, I made a mess, didn't I? I made Shame on mommy. <laughs> yes, it's me, mess. I did, didn't I? Now I'm going to have burnt on stove to clean up. I hate that. I let it, I was. I had the temperature too high. All right, so those don't take long at all, so we're just going to wait a while before we're going to make those last because we got to put these in the casserole dish and bake in the oven for 30 minutes, so... We're making the macaroni because Cole's hungry, so we're going to go ahead and serve that to him. Um, we're all actually starving. <laughs> but um, So to make the sauce, so you need a tablespoon of your Worcestershire, the dub sauce, um, my mom says she does half ketchup, half barbecue sauce. Um, is what she likes to do. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna do that too. I do have barbecue sauce somewhere in here. I know I do. Yes, I do. So I'm gonna do barbecue sauce. Um, and you need a cup of brown sugar. And that's it, pretty much for the sauce. All right, go ahead. Thank you. Good job. You can make more sauce if you want. I was um, might not have made enough sauce, but I got them all coated, so that's all that matters. I'm gonna bake these now. <laughs> so the only thing we're waiting on is the meatballs, but we got mac and cheese, diced carrots, mashed potatoes, and gravy. So. We're just waiting on the meatballs, but we're going to go ahead and eat the other stuff because we're all starving today. It's just what I do when I'm out, so try not to hold me down, feel alive. Faster car, lay my troubles to rest. Blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fine, and I know it is just my time now. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out So try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at these beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me No, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town I 
drive a faster car. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Think and break me. do grocery shopping in the mornings so that's a little weird that we're doing it at night that's definitely not an everyday thing for us have to go to the store. we are going to the store aren't we we're going to the store um we're just gonna get like a couple of things grocery wise feels like we just went but what we got was just like literally a couple of things that we needed for that day so um, my husband is getting gas right now and then we're gonna head down to probably food line I would say is where we're gonna go and get our groceries tonight because Walmart is a little further than food line and I doubt we're gonna end up at Walmart tonight I don't feel like going to Walmart Walmart's probably insane on a Friday night <laughs> Lock this door. Cole just wants to help me and my husband do everything, literally everything. He tries to take care of us. He tries to help us do things. He will, if we're sitting on the couch, he will bring us blankets and cover us up. Literally, that's all Cole ever tries to do is just to help us. It's so sweet, guys. Food line. 
three sweet potatoes. I like to microwave these for lunch or dinner or whatever. They're really simple to have. Um, got some Alfredo sauce. Um, there's actually two jars of that, yeah. Because I was going to make some chicken Alfredo this week. Uh, we got some eggs. I picked out these to go with some hummus. These were on sale, so I picked those out. Here's the hummus that I picked up from Food Lion. It's the roasted red pepper. Cole likes hummus too, so we can just have that to dip our pretzels in. Um, my husband picked out some chips. They, the boys picked out this stuff. I didn't get the stuff they picked it out, but I did eat a cookie, of course. Couldn't resist, but my husband's favorite are the fudge stripes. Uh, Cole picked these out, and then he didn't even end up really liking them, I don't think because they're a little bit of a harder cookie but i actually really like these i like to eat them with uh milk so i guess i'll eat them since cole's not gonna eat them we got some lance toast tea crackers um we got some crescent rolls we got actually these were supposed to be biscuits my husband picked these out but he wasn't aware i was gonna make sausage gravy and biscuits but we could just have sausage gravy and Crescents, I guess we could just shred them up. It ain't no big deal. Um, we got sliced strawberries Mangoes for smoothies and then we got the block of cheddar There's the sausage that we got, and we got a, This is how much 80 20 is at food line kind of expensive in my opinion um, But we only needed one we're gonna do hamburger helper Thank you Okay, get a press it down. Spencer, one of the big engines on the railway, was happy because he had a very important job to do. He was taking the Duke and Duchess to Boxford to Callan Castle. Oh, man. Give me a hug. Can I get a hug? Can I get a hug? Zoe, do I get a hug? All right, so Cole's watching a movie right now. He's winding down. Um, he normally goes to bed in the summer like 8, 8.30, sometimes 9. It just really depends. Uh, he's in there kind of early right now. It's only like 7.30-ish. But he's going to watch that movie for a little bit that he wanted to watch. Read him a couple books. Um, All right, so I just got out of the shower. The battery is going dead, but... It is showtime, meaning this is the end of the night where me and my husband watch what we want to watch on TV um, and go to bed. Like, that's what we do. I feel like finally all the smoke is gone from the Canadian wildflowers. It look, finally see the mountains. It looks so much prettier here. Um, it's a calm evening. I feel like there's not even no wind, which is weird. It's just very calm. So, um, there is a chance that we might get a thunderstorm. My hair, I got my hair from my spigot a little bit wet, but I try not to. Um, but my hair needs probably wash tomorrow, so sometimes I don't like to go to bed with my hair wet. Is anybody else like that? Um, and I'm trying not to use heat on my hair right now. I'm really trying hard. The only thing I've straightened is like my uh, curtain bangs. In some of my little short pieces on the side but my actual hair i'm trying not to use any heat on it um yeah you guys saw like what i showed you guys is literally what we do every single day pretty much i mean every day is different obviously sometimes we'll go to like a park or something which i was kind of wanting to do today but it just didn't happen so because i wanted to film that for you guys but we never made it there but <sighs> we have gotten so much rain here where I live in West Virginia and everything's looking pretty good like flower wise the grass came back to leaf. Um, it's gonna need cut again like soon I've been making watermelon juice out of watermelons too which is 
really really good by the way if you've never tried it but um you guys can look into the benefits of juicing but i think i've talked about it several times here on my channel um they have a lot of good health benefits for your health like to juice so highly recommend getting a juicer um you don't have to have a juicer you can use a blender and a strainer but or like a cheesecloth bag if you want to do that instead but I do have a juicer and um, I actually need like a new piece for mine I think because the blade kind of dull or something but um it still works fine but it is really beneficial and I have so much energy when I eat a lot of fruit and I like a lot of juicing and um yeah I wanted to just mention that if any of you guys are struggling with your health I'm telling you guys food plays an important part on how we feel um, food like eating healthy food has really helped with my depressive like symptoms that I get um, that just come and go sometimes it's it's not like severe but it's just like I'll feel like really like in a funk and stuff and if I eat well, I notice that I don't really have any of that stuff. Like, I feel good a lot of the time, but I know it's hard, and I do consume junk food a lot, and I don't eat perfectly because it's just hard to, and I don't know why it is. Because it, honestly, if we would just set our mind to, we can do anything we want to do, you know, even with food. This is getting off on a tangent, but I just wanted to say that um, because I personally have experienced so many benefits from just um, like smoothies and juicing and I've had a lot of health benefits from it so look into it if you don't believe me and if some of you guys are skeptic about it but it has helped with like my mood and stuff just stuff like that I feel like food is really important in how we are you know it's like I guess to feel good we, it has to start from like what we're putting in our body, you know what I mean? Um, I'm gonna go. This video was really rambly. The ending was rambly, but I hope you guys didn't mind. But that's just what we do. Um, like I said, I'm going in here to watch a show. Um, I'm probably gonna find something to munch on because that's normally what happens when I sit down to watch a show. I don't do it every single night. And honestly, I do a lot better if I choose not to eat anything because my... I have stomach like problems if I eat real late at night and go to bed like I normally get a stomach ache so I shouldn't do it but sometimes I do <laughs> just being real but I hope you guys enjoyed this nighttime summer nighttime routine I love summer summer is my favorite season of all time I just love this time of the year um ever since I was a kid I've always been a summer girl my whole entire life like summer was always just my favorite you know like I lived in my parents' pool when I was young, and I just have so many, so many good, like, memories of growing up. Uh, I'm very lucky to say that I had a very good childhood and stuff, and, like, summer was just, like, so fun all the time. And I just loved summer, and I've always have, so... I can't help it. I know a lot of people are like fall people and my husband is one of them. He loves fall, which I really enjoy fall as well. It's probably my second favorite, but it's like summer's here and I just want to enjoy summer. I don't want any other season to, to happen. I just love summertime. So thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to um, subscribe if you're new here and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Tell me that you're sorry, I'm not sorry What you sorry for? I need a little love I just need a little love You tell me that you're sorry